So I watched a lot of that over the last couple of days. God, that I game is zero mission. Zero mission is incredibly good. All right, we're I we're good to go, boys. Nothing if you want to take it away, having, <laughs> nothing would be better than having fusion on the Switch. Let's just yeah, say that true. that would be godly. Okay, okay. <laughs> so um, I have not quite finished Gears Tactics yet, but it's merely a formality at this point. Um, Alex and I have been playing this for over a year on stream every other Wednesday. Um, it's hell along. And not all that difficult. It's just we're playing it extremely slowly, maybe. Um, so I'm reviewing Gears Tactics a little bit early. It, all we have to do still is watch the end credits or the, or the end cut scene and, and, and roll the credits. Um, really just got to finish that that last mission. We know how to do it. It's just a process. Uh, and I'll get into that in a moment. So yeah, Gears Tactics developed by Splash Damage and The Coalition uh, for an April 28th of 2020, right at the top of the pandemic release. Um, which that timed that well. Everybody locked down, nothing to do. Play Gears Tactics. Really long game. Um, we played it on PC over Parsec, uh, which is not necessarily the way they intended, but it should have been. Uh, it is a much better cooperative experience than it would be a, a playing it solo. I think playing it solo would have ended up being incredibly frustrating. It is available also on Xbox One and Xbox Series SX, but I honestly, like, I don't know how you would go about playing that with a controller. I think it would be very, very clunky. We're playing I mean, they it, do. You can do RTSs with a controller, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm... And, and, and certainly Alex has played XCOM with the controller. Uh, this is an XCOM-like. Um, so, like, it's doable, but I just personally, it makes so much more sense to me to do mouse and keyboard on this game. Um, especially, well, I mean, obviously, especially over Parsec. What did I like about it? I mean... It gives us a really interesting insight into the Gears story. This game takes place before Gears Judgment, which is canonically the the first, uh, or sorry, chronologically the first first game in the uh, in the series. Um, and it actually focuses on characters who aren't introduced until Gears Four and Five. Mm. Uh, so it's it's deep, deep, deep backstory on uh, very minor side character. Well, three very minor side characters and one extremely major character uh, in Gears Five. And it also gives sort of a backstory on the main protagonist outside of the Phoenix family in Gears 5, 4 and 5, uh, Kate Diaz. So this this is actually, it's her parents are the are two of the protagonists, two of the named characters in Gears Tactics. And that uh, sort of attention to detail that the Coalition has, the, the Coalition was not the original developers for Gears. And when they picked it up from whatever it was, uh, initially there was concern that they weren't going to show the, the amount of uh love and respect to the gears franchise because it was known that they were taking it a different direction they were taking it away from marcus and jd phoenix mm. and toward this new character that nobody had ever heard of um turns out they did it by way of the phoenix family and made it really interesting uh so fleshing out that backstory fleshing out that early backstory is really fascinating and interesting uh, the gameplay is terrific. They uh, made a absolutely seamless jump from the third person over the shoulder cover shooter uh, that we know to an XCOM like while preserving the heart and soul of Gears. So, I mean, the most iconic Gears move is chainsawing a, a locust in half with the butt end of your gun. You can still do that. And when you do it, it still cuts to that third person angle, exactly the same shot that you get from the other games. And it does it so quickly that you don't even notice it. And it honestly gives you a chance to sort of recover your brain and plan your next move. So I go and saw a drone in half and I'm already like, I'm using that chainsaw animation to think about what I'm doing next. Um, so the transition from the, the third person shooter to the, to the XCOM like uh, was really, really good. The there's a couple of missions in the game that I really didn't like. Um, they just were way too hard. The stipulations they put on your party were uh, a bit obnoxious. They would force you to use characters that just didn't make sense for things like a take and hold mission. If you're supposed to capture an objective, you want uh, high mobility, high survivability, and they would force you to take characters like snipers who are just uh. squishy. Um, now we would just kind of save scum our way through that. And, and it was fine. 
um we didn't do any like specific saving we just used the the checkpoints but like it was it, it got really frustrating there was one mission uh i think rpd was watching at the time we had to try it seven different times and one of those was a complete restart and respect the team um the finale uh all is one of those also it forces you to take the four named characters instead of the characters that you've spent x number of hours specking to your heart's content and really making your own uh you can't take those awesome characters we have this this team we call it we call them team duck it's uh big duck and little duck it's a a, a scout and a heavy and we always deploy them together and they're like our iconic duo they they appear in every mission we can drop them on because they're so versatile and they would not let us pl put them in on, on the final mission that's about you have to the named characters and i'm like off off camera after our first attempt at the final i said to alex is there a world where we just respec our named characters into being our custom characters because that's just what we need to survive this mission and he kind of looked at me like i don't want to but yeah and so like our, our scout we have another scout who is a, gr a grenade specialist and we're like i guess we just spec reyna into something that like canonically from gears five she is not but we're making her a grenade specialist because that's what we need to survive this mission mm. it's For it's sure. just a little disappointing and and you really you do become attached to the characters who are not uh the named characters sure because uh, you like, you put they, work into developing those characters exactly yeah. and initially when they give you the first two named characters gabe diaz and uh sid redburn you're like, oh, these guys are these guys are pretty cool, iconic duo. You got one with the chainsaw, one with the retro lancer. That's me and Alex to a T. Great, we're gonna use these a whole bunch. And then as we started to meet some of these other characters, so just these randomly generated recruits, uh, two of whom happen to have the same nickname, Duck. That's why we call them the Ducks. Um, they like they became they took on a life of their own, and they became so much more so much cooler. And is there a goose. Uh, there is. <laughs> There was a goose. Yeah, we did. Was have a one goose. Goose. Duck, duck, yeah. goose. Okay. Uh, we could have, but we, we, we didn't have any higher slots at the time. And we we're like, well, we don't ah. want to fire anybody to hit, pick up goose. So, oh, well, that's fair. That's fair. Um, but yeah, it was, I mean, it's just randomly AI generated names. And it, it, the fact that duck came up twice tickled us. Um, so there's a couple, a couple of problems. It, uh, it, there's, there's a known glitch right now that if, uh, that sometimes your save doesn't load properly and it kicks you all the way back to the beginning of the mission, which is really frustrating. Uh, yeah, it's so uh, there, there's it's this game's been out for like, a year and it has my fixed. It's been out for two years, dog. dog. Oh, and the, yeah, oh, yeah, well, the pandy was long. I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I forgot the, the coalition. Like, the coalition has their focus. I mean, Gears, uh, Gears Esports is a thing that they're trying to make real. Mm -hmm. That's and awesome. like, I, I mean, I guess it is. I don't pay attention to it, but like, the coalition is is basically solely focused on the mainline gears titles mm. leaving splash damage to take care of uh gears tactics and honestly i don't really think it's sold well enough for them for them to care the mm. game is great like it's really really well done and i'm i'm really loving it um i'll, I'll go through the rest of the list here the story is absolutely 100 percent engaging we are like really into all these characters um, again, we, you know, we look for, they, they put your, your special gears into cutscenes, Um, so they're all, they're all cutscenes generated. Like that. We, yeah. Like in, in the cutscenes, we'll be like, oh, there's, there's, there's Ralph and there's, uh, Tao and there's this guy and, the, and it's, it's, it's fun to, to catch those little glimpses. The actual written story is really neat. And it uh, once again, gives you some cool background on, um, the, the, the gear story that you wouldn't ordinarily get. Uh, but it's not it doesn't change the end outcome at all uh of the gears franchise which it shouldn't and that and that makes perfect sense uh it does stand alone the gameplay again very fun uh especially co-op you we, the three of us on the show on the show talk about it all the time co-op covers a world of hurt uh and realistically the coalition should should know better they specialize in co-op they they know how to do co-op they've done horde mode forever they really should have implemented okay player one takes x you know these two slots player two takes these two slots go at it is it common for for uh tactics games to be co-op though i don't think so but this should have been like sure. it's it's very easy to implement yeah uh in, in terms of a, a i mean you guys basically theoretical. fudged co-op just by using parsec so right exactly yeah. 
Um, and it, it, uh, so, right yeah, it, it works and it, it should just be that way. Um, Mar yeah, uh, Comics and Coffee in the chat points out Mario Rabbids is co-op. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Which is so, amazing. Like, Isn't it four player? It's doable. And it, I mean, it could be. I don't know. I, uh, I'm i not very familiar with that game. It was but just like, like, this game is single player. This game is co-op and the same game. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, there's just a big, big overstep there or misstep. Um, the art is, I mean, it's classic Gears art. It looks like a Gears game, especially when the camera goes down to, to that third person perspective. Even if you just completely whiff a shot, Every once in a while, it'll go down to that third person perspective and you just feel like you're playing Gears again. Um, so they really they really did a great job bringing in the Gears feel uh, using the art. Music, same thing. Uh, it, it's it's Gears music. Uh, when I turn on the just the loading screen, uh, when, I, when I'm going live, it doesn't really discernibly sound any different than when I would load up Gears 5. S same sort of stuff. Um, sound design, yeah, again, also, um, just it's just gears. You know, when you rev up that chainsaw, you feel it. And, guns and you sound know, like guns. Chainsaws guns sound, sound like chainsaws. Guns, chainsaws. Sound like chainsaws. Yeah. Locusts sound like locusts. It's it's bog standard. How long did it take us? Over a goddamn year, playing every other week. Now, obviously, I could I could break that down into hours. I, I'm, I've got my Steam library open here. Um, we've logged. <laughs> almost 60 hours into it, which is significantly longer. Shamali and I were talking about this recently. This is significantly longer than we've put into any of the other Gears games. Um, yeah. by, and, and that's including, so like Gears 4, we played a bunch of Horde mode. We didn't even come near it. So this game is way longer just to play Josh the Josh broke his headset. I literally can't hear out of my right ear now. Oh, no. I'm not even kidding. It's just Jade just leaned into me, and I think she pulled the cord a little bit. And I'm like, uh oh, my headset might be fucked out. Um, uh -huh. So, was the, game <laughs> was the game difficult? There, there were there were bits. There were bits that were tough, but for the most part, it's pretty smooth sailing. All the camp, like the story missions, are very smooth sailing. I think one of the three boss fights we restarted a couple of times, and the the boss fight we're working on now is a little more challenging but only because the, the boss is huge and doesn't take much damage mm -hmm. it's just gonna take him a while it's not it's not it's not dark souls difficult it's just grindy difficult sure yeah um rpg would I play is difficult yeah, yeah yeah exactly uh would i play a sequel sure if they if they dropped a, a gears tactics 2 yeah i'd play it but again i would immediately default to parsec i would immediately be playing that co-op because it just improves the experience. The fact that you can talk back and forth and be like, oh, I want to send this guy over here. And the other player would be like, well, better idea. What if you grenade first and then go over there and get a little bit closer? Sure. You know, it, that balance mechanic really works very well. Um, so that brings us wow. down to the rating. And I, I got to say, this one's, I'm going to rate this one pretty high. Um, it's, it's, it, <laughs> it, uh, We've we've enjoyed the crap out of it. I mean, I I think Gears three four era would be my like high nine, um, my you know my my nine seven nine six nine six nine seven. Damn, like that. that's amazing. Um, Gears like five a little bit lower because they just tried to shake up a little bit too much and it was kind of weird. Um, so that and and. and this uh, Gears Tactics is certainly better than certainly better than Gears Judgment. That one's they made a whole bunch of mistakes. Um, Gears one two were like fine. Uh, they they just hadn't got the formula down yet. Um, so those are you know a little bit lower. But I think Gears Tactics comes comes right in at uh, a, a low eight, probably like an eight three. What does that Very match up? With? That was my last rating, if I'm not mistaken. Or our, you our rated. Last you had, or I think Paul had an eight three in the last. Paul, one. Paul put Soul Blazer and and Pokemon Arceus at at eight point three, and I like Both based awesome on games. yeah, it, it's, games. it's the, Gear Tactics is a great game. Uh, has some faults, has some has some problems, but I really do think it 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 deserves high praise. Uh, those those problems do not hold it back. It's a really cool game. Excellent, and, and definitely worth worth the, yeah. worth the worth the worth the investment. It's on uh, Game Pass, so play it for free. Free. Uh, Cool. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on Game Pass. Game over eight for free is pretty damn good. Yeah, right exactly. On. Very fun. All right. Well, let's switch on back. Shwing, 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 shwing.